Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. Today's video is going to be a things I'm loving video. However, I am doing this very differently. I'm not going to just sit here and talk about all my favorites. I'm going to actually take you guys through a day in my life or a vlog style video where I actually get to talk and show you guys how I like to use the products or the things I'm loving or how I make the things I'm loving. Guess I'm gonna make something. So I'm really excited. I hope you guys like this. I know it'll be obviously a lot longer, but this way you get kind of like a vlog, but also get to see all the products and things I've been loving recently. And if you do like this style of video, please give it a thumbs up so I know to do more like this in the future. I thought this could be kind of fun to either do monthly or seasonally or something like that. Um, but uh, yeah, let me know your thoughts down below and let's go ahead and jump into it. You guys are really seeing me at my freshest here. Good morning. Since we're doing this things I'm loving vlog style, I wanted to start off this video right away with one of the things I have been loving the most lately and I've just started doing it. I saw this on Lauren Elizabeth's channel first, but I've also seen it kind of go around the internet and that is <laughs> celery juice. So I've mentioned it on my Instagram before and I wanted to show you guys in this video how I like to make mine because I don't have a juicer. I just use a blender and I find it so much easier, but I didn't realize that making a juice such as this with just a blender was possible. So I'm very happy about that. Um, it's something I've been doing or like drinking the past couple days You're supposed to wake up right in the morning and then have this right away um, And it's been working really well for me. It has a lot of vitamin K and C in it It's really good for your bones and your heart and also really good for anti-inflammatory things So if you're like on your period or getting your period like me or if you just are kind of the person that is known to bloat because I'm definitely like a bloater like doesn't matter there's very there's a lot of foods that make me bloat and so I like to find things that don't make me bloat especially on a dance show week So I'm really excited to be drinking this and the actual reason I really wanted to start drinking celery juice was the fact that it's good for Breakouts and acne so I wanted to get something in my body that would clear it from the inside out And so that's where this came along and I've really been enjoying it I'm also just the kind of person that would much prefer to drink my vegetables than sit and eat a full plate of them I just prefer it. I like the darkest of greenest of grassiest green juices does that make sense i'm super used to them after doing a juice cleanse like two years ago probably don't recommend juice cleanse but not right now <laughs> and so yeah that's basically my whole spiel on celery juice i really like it there's a lot of studies out there so far that have shown that it's really great for chronic pain as well there's just a million health benefits that i'm just like heck yeah i'm gonna try that and it's super easy and i really don't mind the taste of celery so i'm gonna show you how to make it now so this is what I currently have left of my celery juice. So I'm just gonna pour the rest of it into a cup and then I'm going to make a fresh batch. So it'll last me a couple days and I don't need to do this every single morning. Um, but what I like to use is like obviously celery and then I also like to put a little bit of lemon in it. So I have my celery here. I'm going to take each piece and wash it in the sink and then I'm going to chop it up and put it in my blender cup. Now that my blender cup is basically three quarters of the way full with celery, I'm gonna take half a lemon and squeeze that in there as well. It's good, I'm gonna add a little bit of water and then blend this up. I'm just gonna take my little measuring cup. You can use whatever cup or bowl or anything. And then you want like a really fine mesh strainer. This is the one I had and it conveniently fits perfectly in here. And then you just wanna take this. I mean, you could totally drink this if you wanted to, but it'd be too frothy for me personally. Um, and it, you know, goes through the strainer quite nicely. So that's what I typically let happen. So just kind of pour that in and then wait. And as you guys can already tell, it's coming out to be a nice, like rich green juice rather than the stuff with all the like pulp, which I don't really love anyway. And I'm actually like fascinated that it would do this even like through a blender, if that makes sense. Cause I just thought that I could never get this type of juice, like a pure, clean, crisp juice with a blender. So I'm really happy about this. When the progress has kind of slowed down a little bit, I like to just take a spoon and press in the foam. I find that this really helps and just kind of move it around, push it to the sides, really getting all the juice or the liquid out of it. The next step is super weird, but since there's still like a bit of pulp in here and I know I can get more juice out of it, I'm gonna take a piece of cheesecloth and put the pulp in here and then just squeeze it out into the cup. Obviously I have clean hands, so that's going to be fine. 
but this is more of a solid so just wrap it up make sure this is tight because you don't want it squeezing out the sides like so and then just squeeze so weird So that is pretty much it for my celery juice. I like to pop it in one of these containers from Ikea. If you're gonna drink it right away, definitely add ice cubes because it's not gonna taste very good at this temperature. Um, but I like to put mine in the fridge and this will probably be about two days worth. I probably will do another round just so I have enough for a couple more days. Although I wouldn't let it sit in my fridge for like more than three days, it probably wouldn't be fresh anymore. So that's my recommendation to you. Also, this is a very large canister and you don't really get that much juice. Cool. I put my cup in the freezer for a couple minutes just to get it a little bit cold because this is fresh. So I'm just gonna pour it up, drink this, and then I'm heading off to the chiropractor and I will see you guys when I get back. Nick, this is not for you. This is mine. So I'm back from the chiropractor and I just showered, washed my hair, and did the whole routine. And my next favorite that I wanted to talk to you guys about is this Kristen S. Scalp Purifying Micellar Shampoo. First off, love the packaging. You guys can get this at Target. I will link all of my favorites that I can link down below though. Um, but I love the color of this. Her regular packaging, if you guys, I'm sure you guys have all seen it, is like this like really pretty peachy pink color. But then she came out with this new line that's like this emerald color and I love it. Aside from the color of the packaging, I also like the fact that it has this little pointed top so it makes it really easy to get into your hair and you kind of just like divide your hair like this and squeeze it in just like you would kind of like a hair dye if you guys have ever used a box dye. It's kind of like that and you just like put a bunch of it in your hair and then scrub it around. I love my cellar shampoos especially just because I use a ton of dry shampoo throughout the week and so when I do wash my hair every so often I do like to use my cellar shampoo just to get it super super clean. Um, it says it's deep cleansing, shine boosting, scalp hydrating, which is kind of important too. Removes buildup and strand fortifying. So I really like this. Use it in replace of your shampoo every like three washes or something to get your hair squeaky clean. Love that. The next couple of favorites I wanted to mention have to do with skincare. The first one being this toner from Ula Henriksen. I like this because it has salicylic acid. It's their balancing force oil control toner. Um, and because of the salicylic acid, I really like it for my current breakouts that I've been experiencing. And so I just like to sweep this all over my face using a cotton round and then I'll just like hold it on to an active breakout for a couple seconds just to let it really soak in. So I'll either use that or something I've been using recently are these Zo Skin Health Complexion Renewal pads so these are just kind of like um saturated pads that you can also wipe over your face they're a lot stronger than the toner but they are meant for acne you get 30 pads in here or you can get the bigger one um i got these at low heat laser i'm not quite sure where you can find them online but these make the biggest difference when i'm having a really bad breakout this is what i want to use on my face because i can feel it working typically i'll use both of these at night just before i do the rest of my skincare but since I've been breaking out so much I've been using these just once a day but depending on how it goes so I'm gonna use them right now um, because I also like to use them right once I've cleaned my face so all you have to do is take one pad make sure you close it up so they don't dry out and like the toner I'll typically hold it over a breakout so I have a breakout right here so I'll just hold it over and make sure I really get it coated so once I'm done with the little pad, I'll let my skin kind of soak in that solution before I move on to moisturizing. Personally, I've never really dealt with dark spots on my face up until a couple months ago, and I'm not really sure why I'm getting them, but Ulla Henriksen did recently come out with this Glow 2HO Dark Spot Toner. Um, I've tried it a few times, I do really like it. However, I'm really just focused on clearing out my skin right now. So I'm trying to focus and use toners such as this um, and then once my skin is clear I'll go in and use this to hopefully lighten those dark spots I'm basically just getting them along my cheek probably just from acne or like previous acne so yeah I do really like this but it's just not um, for my skin type at the current moment I've since switched my robe and done my hair. I'm not going to talk too much about this because I want to do a full video showing you guys my blowout routine, but this has definitely been a favorite this past month since I got it basically. It's the Revlon hair dryer and voluminizer, I think. I love this. I've mentioned it on my Instagram stories so much already and you've probably seen it be mentioned by a few people here on the internet, but it is seriously worth the $60 that I paid for it and I love it very much. So that's what I used to do my hair today. I love that I'm able to do like a little flip in um 
yeah, it just makes my life so much easier because I have not been wanting to do my hair lately and just being able to straighten it or just like quickly blow dry it is what I've been doing. Had to go pop in a new battery, but I wanted to talk about my next favorite. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Charlotte's Magic Cream. It's a very popular product. I recently received this in a PR package with a bunch of Charlotte Tilbury skincare products, and this is the product that I've tried pretty much the most and have been using consistently since I got that PR package. Um, but her products are amazing, and I'm really excited to try it more, and I was really excited that it was skincare the first package I received um, because I do love me some skincare so i just like to take a little bit of this and i tend to use it more so before i do my makeup versus like as a nightly moisturizer and stuff because i believe that's how it was intended it's used on a lot of models and runway shows and celebrities use it and all that kind of stuff so um yeah it's definitely like a moisturizer for under makeup is how i like to see it it makes my skin feel so good and i do really enjoy the smell of it as well and it's just so fancy so i do really love that product and that has been a favorite recently i don't really have a ton of makeup favorites this month so i'm gonna fast forward through my makeup and then i will see you guys when i do have a favorite i want to talk about My next favorite is something I didn't realize was my favorite, but I've definitely been gravitating towards it a lot more this month and using it a lot more, which is weird for me because I wouldn't normally go for a cream blush or that type of thing in the winter, um, but I've really been enjoying this. It's one of the Glossier Cloud Paints in the shade of Dusk, which I believe is like their most neutral rosy color. Um, a little goes a really long way with this, so I just like to take a little bit on my finger and kind of dab it around and either blend it in with my finger or I'll use a brush or just kind of sweep it in and melt it in and I like to start with a little and then build up if I want to. I personally just love the way that cream blushes look and how they're super natural but also you can wear them um, without foundation or just on minimal makeup days as well and they just give you a really nice natural flush. I like it. And also it's good if you have dry skin too, versus putting a bunch of powder on your face. If you do find yourself with a little bit of a heavier hand when it comes to your blush, just take your beauty blender or any type of sponge or brush and just kind of pat it out and it'll help it sink into the skin a little bit more. Doing my liquid liner today was such a struggle, but we're here now. I'm gonna move on to mascara. This is a rediscovered favorite. I recently repurchased this this past month and I've been loving it. Um, it's the Total Temptation Mascara from Maybelline. This is what the wand looks like and it smells like coconuts or like coconut milk is like what I like to call it because it's not actual coconut. Um, but I really like this mascara, it's super inexpensive and I was going to wear lashes today, but I think I'm just gonna curl my lashes and apply a lot of this. So hair and makeup are now done. I do really love the way that mascara makes my lashes though. It's very like full and fluffy, which is exactly what I like. Um, I'm also extremely pale. I have not been this pale in so long. I haven't self tanned in weeks and it's definitely starting to show. I know this is like my true self, but I have been self tanning so often lately that this feels so weird. I even had to go down a shade in foundation today because I just could not get away with the foundation I was currently using and the shade I was currently using because it just, didn't look good so um yeah not used to it but I'm gonna tan later this week so it'll be fine but for the meantime this is my winter self and I need to get used to it because I self tan probably too much but I just feel better when I self tan you know I feel like everything in my life is just better when I self tan does anyone else feel like that I don't know anyway let's go ahead and move on to getting dressed and I'll show you guys some of my fashion favorites the next couple things I've really been enjoying are new pieces of jewelry from Madewell. The first is this necklace. It'll probably be really hard to show, but I'll I'll put it on. And I love the pieces from Madewell just because they're such good quality. They last so well. I have a set of three necklaces that I have worn probably for like the past six months and they still look great. I wear them all the time. I think they even still carry them. So I'll link those down below, but I always put this on backwards. Um, but I went in recently and got a couple new pieces just because I love that so much. I wanted some new necklaces. So I got this one. And then I also got a pair of earrings that I will show you guys once I get myself sorted. 
So this is what the necklace looks like. And then for earrings, I'm going to take out the ones I currently have. These ones that I'm wearing are from Majuri. I got them for Christmas from Cody. I love them and they're like my everyday earrings. But if I'm going to um, switch them out, I like to put them in a very secure spot. So I put them in a little box. And then these are the earrings that I got from Madewell. I wanted some really small like gold hoops and I love these. I have these ones but like the size difference is kind of a lot. So I wanted some cute littler ones that I could wear. And like I said, Madewell just has the best. Can I do this without looking? Maybe not. Maybe. Their quality is just really good and I love all their pieces. I think they're all really classic and easy to style, which makes life a lot easier and they go with a lot. And I am pierced with mostly silver, but I don't mind throwing in gold all the time I like mixing metals and I don't know I've just really been into gold lately I also like to wear this cuff it's from Majuri as well it's just like a little ear cuff you guys have seen me wear this a ton um, you don't need a piercing for this which is great you just kind of pop it on this one's super secure and then it just adds so much to your little ear piece game and yeah that is my everyday jewelry as of lately I've really been enjoying like adding pieces my rings are always the same but I do really like this necklace I think it's kind of fun and different so those are my jeweler faves. I've moved to some better lighting to actually show you guys what these look like. So those are the earrings, the necklace, and then for my outfit today, I'm wearing this crew neck that I actually bought off Instagram. So this was advertised on my Instagram and I thought it was so cute. Typically, like I said, I wouldn't buy just like a plain crew neck from a random website, but I love this. It says plant these, save the bees. I'm like in a mirror, so you probably can't see that. I don't know. Um, anyway, I just thought it was so cute for spring. I love the white. I don't own any white crew necks and it seemed very Pinterest to me and I thought that I could style it and wear it with pretty much anything I just am wearing some Zara mom jeans, but yeah, I thought it was cute So it's very cozy too. It's very very soft really great quality I was not expecting it to be that but I'm very happy it is and I think it's really cute So anyway, that's today's outfit including my jewelry faves It's quite a while later and it's about that time that I want something warm because the Sun has gone down now and this is usually the time that I'm gonna come and have some tea and this is a new tea that I've been loving this is from Trader Joe's it's their organic ginger turmeric herbal tea caffeine free I love this stuff this has definitely been a recent favorite of mine and I just wanted to show you guys I feel like I've been constantly feeling like I'm getting sick but I haven't actually gotten sick which is great but I just really wanted to have some ginger and turmeric tea on hand and uh, I've really been enjoying it more so than uh, just like having it for when I feel that way so that's what I'm gonna have. Can you guys spot the sleeping noodle in the background? <laughs> I'm just gonna sit here and enjoy my tea and that is actually my last favorite for this video I hope you guys enjoyed it and if you did like this format for video I know it's a little bit longer, but if you did enjoy it give it a thumbs up because it helps support my channel and uh, Yeah, let's cue the outro Leave me a comment down below of something you've currently been loving whether that be a fashion favorite a beauty product favorite or a food favorite because I definitely want to hear from you guys in the comments down below and if you are new here don't forget to subscribe before the video is over and I will see you guys in my next video have a great day